Hello and welcome to Learn Easy Tutorial. In this video, we are going to learn about heredity and its fundamental concepts. You might have noticed some similarities in features with not just your parents and siblings, but with grandparents, uncles, aunts and some with your cousins too, right? This is because we inherit features from our common ancestors. The transmission of features or characteristics from parents to offspring is known as heredity or inheritance. The features that can be inherited from one generation to another are known as characters. For example, eye color, shape of the nose, blood type, skin color, etc. Be it eye color or shape, any character can have different alternatives or possibilities. These alternate forms of an inherited character are known as traits. For example, eye color can be of different shades. Brown, blue, green, black, gray, and these are known as traits for this character. But some features can't be passed on to the next generation, such as toned muscles acquired due to exercise, language is learned, knowledge gained from studies, liking for a particular taste, etc. In sexual reproduction, the child will be receiving features from both mother and father. For example, in humans, a zygote is formed by the fusion of sperm and ovum. Both sperm and ovum have 23 chromosomes, each of which has the complete set of information about features and functions of the body. Upon fertilization, the zygote gets 46 chromosomes. That is, it will have two sets of information or genes for each feature. This pair of genes in the same position in the homologous chromosome and that affect the same character are known as alleles. If the alleles are different, then they are called heterozygous alleles. For example, if the mother has brown eyes and the father have blue eye, then the alleles present in the child will be heterozygous. If the alleles are the same, then they are called homologous alleles. For example, both mother and father have blue eyes and if this feature is passed on, then alleles present in the zygote will be same. In the case of homologous alleles, the expression of a feature doesn't require a choice. But in the case of heterozygous alleles, it is not possible to express both of them which are inherited for a character. A person can't have both blue and brown eyes, right? So from studies conducted by our biologists and scientists, it is found that by nature, one of them has a higher probability of getting expressed and is called dominant allele. And the gene which has a lesser probability of getting expressed is known as recessive allele. When it comes to blue and brown eye color, blue has a higher probability of getting expressed and therefore it is dominant and brown is recessive. The dominant allele is represented by its first letter and is written in uppercase and the recessive allele is denoted by the dominance lowercase and not by its first letter. So here blue is represented by uppercase B and brown is represented by lowercase B. 
This means that we might be having genes for both blue and brown eyes. But blue gets expressed as it is dominant. So here, if we consider the character eye color, genotype is uppercase B, smaller case B and phenotype is blue. That's all for now folks. Thank you for watching. To read notes on this topic, click on the link given in the description below and in our next video we will learn about Mendel's experiment on garden pea plants. Happy learning. See you soon. Bye-bye.